this looked like it was a lot of fun to work on, was it? It was so much fun to work on. It was just a great group of people. Like, All My Cost was amazing. So funny, so fun. Our director was incredible. Our producers were actually really, really awesome. Our crew was, I mean, honestly, I've only got good things to say. <laughs> and, and I'm such a huge Ab Fab fam, uh, uh, fan. So Joanna <laughs> Lumley, such a great performance. Oh, yeah. She's, I mean, she's an icon for a reason. She is just so good. There is nothing she can't do. I genuinely believe there is nothing she can't do. So what was the most difficult part about this film for you? I, I, I Was it learning the opera? Was it, was it uh, uh, the rehearsals? Um, honestly, yeah. The, the performance aspect of it is always terrifying to me because we were actually performing for real opera singers, which was the irony. Um, a lot of the people in the stands were real opera singers and I cannot sing opera. Uh, but I did have to sing it on the day so that it looked real, obviously, and my breathing was correct. And then they would do it in post and they replaced my voice in post. So it was absolutely terrifying. And I definitely had singing lessons and everything every day to learn the songs and learn the breathing and everything. And, um, you know, still absolutely terrified every time I had to do it. You know, it's it's that point in your career where, where you absolutely have to trust your crew and, and everybody yeah. around you because you are just you're so good in this. So I think it's them that lifted you. Thank you. I mean, honestly, yes. When you are in a safe situation or you feel really supported and safe <laughs> with the people around you, you can do anything. And I did. So that's really great. Tell me a little about working with uh, Hugh Skinner. Hugh, I love him so much. He was just a really great guy. We had so much fun together. Um, we would practice our duet at night. Like we would go out to lunch, dinner, hang out all the time. We're basically attached to the hip for the entire shoot. And he's amazing. Do you think he's a better cook in real life than he is in the film? Um, ooh, you know, that's a really good question. Um, I don't actually know if he can cook in real life. Like I said, we always ate out. But <laughs> I will say he's an amazing singer. He is an incredible singer. Like when he got up to sing Figaro, I was like, they don't need to replace your voice because you are perfect as is. This is such an uplifting and amazingly fun movie. Uh, and I think audiences are going to get a, get a lot out of it. What do you think they're going to take home with them? I mean, hopefully it's uplifting and hopefully it encourages people to want to pursue their dreams. I, I, I always love it when movies just make you say, yes, yes, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it because what have you got to lose kind of thing. And it's, I don't know. I just hope that people are entertained. They laugh a little. They maybe like tear up a little. They feel good afterwards, believe in love and dreams again. I don't know. All of the things. <laughs> In our final moments, we have together. Again, thank you so much for your, your time. But I do want to throw out some love to you for I Am Woman. We did the uh, interviews for that. One of my favorite yeah. films, I think, in the past 10 years. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, of course, uh, Patty Cakes you're just and Dumpling. I mean, you, you've just got such a great track record. I love your choices. Thank you. Thank you. It's been, it's been really fun getting to play with so many different kinds of characters and genres. So it's, I've been really, really lucky. Danielle, I hope to see you on the on the very next one. Yes, I hope to we, see you too. <laughs> we need this much more time. <laughs>